uh, this next team. Um, they, they found a pretty cool way to incentivize things that we want at full stack, uh, like timeliness and working on Code Wars problems outside of class, that kind of thing. Um, they, they did so with a very uh, uh, unique solution, which is a blockchain. Uh, so please pay attention to StackCoin. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Omri. <laughs> Thanks, Omri. Um, my name is Ken Russo. I'm here with Stanley Tu, Atish Varma, and Sid Reddy. We're here to talk to you today about our project, StackCoin. StackCoin is a private Ethereum blockchain used to incentivize students' immersion in the full stack program. A student will come into class, check in, and in exchange get StackCoin that they can therefore spend on other goods and services like help tickets for workshops that we're working on. Before we delve into the technical details of our blockchain, I'm going to hand you over to Sid Reddy, who's going to go over explanation of our portal. Thank you, Ken. Um, one of the hardest parts of this project was creating a cryptocurrency and a blockchain and making it work. And when we finally made it work, there was tons of data. We didn't know if we should put all of it on the UI. So we took a minimalist approach, as you can see over here, and only put relevant data that the user can actually use. So uh, it's divided into two parts. We have a sidebar and we have a main screen. So in our sidebar, you can check in, you can send StackCoin to your fellow students, check the rankings of different students, and also check your code war status. And on the main screen, you can see how much money you have in your wallet, how many people are currently using our system, and also you can look at um, the distribution of wealth in the private economy on the pie chart. And once you're logged into our system, you can check in on the dashboard screen. And once you're checked in, you can also see the latest 10 transactions that happen. And one of the transactions will be your check-in. It'll show you how much it costs to check in and who got paid for it. Uh, and more to talk about transactions will be Atish. Thanks, Sid. So um, transactions happen when there's an exchange of stack coin in our system. And the inner logic of these transactions happen using Ethereum smart contracts, which we code with the Solidity programming language. So what makes transactions so great with smart contracts is that they're both transparent and they're secure. And the security prevents any fraudulent transactions from occurring. And one other great feature is that there's a huge ease of use. So if you're trying to do a transaction with a smart contract, you can buy property, uh, shares, uh, stock, and money with no middleman. So it's one-to-one, peer-to-peer which makes it very easy for you. Um, another great feature about uh, smart contracts is that not only do they list the uh, specs that a transaction must have, they also enforce it by physically adding this transaction to the blockchain, which, again, makes less work for you. And this is all as a result of a public ledger. And the way that a transaction is actually added to the blockchain is that if you think of it as like a huge link list, Nodes already in the link list will basically do the computation of the transaction and will basically check if a transaction matches every contract specs. And it checks that if there's no fraudulent transaction happening. And if, it, if this basically pans out and it's correct, then it'll add this transaction to the blockchain. And it's called mining. That's, it's called Ethereum mining. It's the process of nodes already on the blockchain adding kind of new nodes to it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, we currently have two, our platform supports two contracts. One was already mentioned by Sid, which is a check-in contract. And that's like people have checked in, nodes are going to add you to the system. And the other one is a code word contract. And so if you're a student and you do a code word problem or you rank up in queue, uh, we'll transact 100 coins if you do a problem and we'll transact 200 coins to your account if you rank up in queue. And now here's Stanley to talk about backend implementation and how we What's your tech stack like? Thanks, Atish. So I'll be giving a brief overview of our tech stack, basically. Um, so in our platform, students can log in, check in, send money to each other, and uh, view information about their wallet through the dashboard page. Our front end is built on React Redux and Web3. Web3 and Redux both serve as places to pull information from, which React uses to render the proper pages on the, on the client's use. On our middleware is using Express. It manages site navigation and makes queries to our PostgreSQL database, which holds, which holds user information and allows us to make an account management system, allowing students to log in. 
It also makes calls to our blockchain, which is which through Web3 makes calls to our blockchain and is hosted. The blockchain is hosted on six Azure servers remotely. Each re each remote Azure server carries a copy of the blockchain and maintains it, simulating a decentralized blockchain network. Um, each student within our system is tied to one of these nodes. So when one of these students checks in, their node begins mining. So f future transactions where another student checks in, they're allowed to mine and gain more currency as a result. This incentivizes students to come in earlier so that they can mine other students' check-ins. They can also, this also adds student check-ins to uh, an immutable public ledger which people can view and see who checked in at what time. Um, this project was pretty difficult because um, blockchain documentation is pretty bad. It's, uh, that's not a, it's not a joke actually, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really new. So I was looking at documentation from like three months ago, four months ago, and it's not relevant anymore pretty much. Um, I had a really fun time with my team working on it. Uh, we're planning on deploying to stackcoin.tech within the next week, and I hope you take a look at it, and uh, I hope this piques your interest in cryptocurrencies and smart contract-based apps. All right, very cool, Stackcoin. I think we should make it clear to the SEC that this is not an initial <laughs> coin offering by Bullstack. This is just a demo test project. Um, so, you know what, I didn't know that much about cryptocurrency until I realized I had some and it was worth a lot of money. And so this project, um, <laughs> project is awesome. I think it's like, the blockchain, it, it's one of those things where like once, you cl once it clicks for you, like this is the future. So I think it's really cool to see, um, you know, students working on it and, and using, I think the full stack thing is, is a, a test thing, but to be able to work on it and, and add stuff to it, it's pretty incredible. Um, but I, I agree with Stanley, They're probably, the only thing worse than JavaScript fatigue is blockchain fatigue in terms of how fast it's changing. <laughs> I also want to say that, um, just to reiterate David's point, that we're not doing an initial coin offering unless you want to buy some. <laughs> and, <laughs> unless you're into it. Maybe, so, <laughs> so let's make a comment on Facebook. Like it if you want to. <laughs> if you want to participate. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. We're not doing it unless you're into <laughs> it. Unless you're into it. We're not doing it. Yeah.